it's, it's magic. When you see that print come up uh, in the developer, you can't believe it really worked again. Photography that you do by hand, your, your own uh, interpretation of an image, I would call it magic. We hung out our shingle formally in 1980. I had been making some chemicals uh, on my barbecue in the backyard and uh, was selling it to some of my photographic friends. We had a uh, tax accountant who, after about a year, says I'm making a lot more money selling the chemicals than I was uh, selling photographic prints in a parking lot sale on La Cienega Boulevard in Los Angeles. So that kind of gave us the emphasis to uh, formalize the business of Bostick and Sullivan. As a kid, my parents would uh, pay me, say, 25 cents a piece, and I'd fill bottles with developer, other simple formulas. Uh, I'd get out my uh, scale and graduates and beakers and play with what I thought was a great chemistry set. The business was growing, we were having new products uh, to sell. I quit school, went to work full-time at Bostick and & Sullivan, and eventually ended up where I am now, developing our new products, uh, teaching classes and workshops, doing our technical support. We act as a chaperone for an artist who comes in and has a vision of what they want their photographs to look like. In the first days, it was Melody Richard, me and Dana. When I first started, if I was shipping out 10, 15 orders a week, that'd be a good week. Now it's more like a couple of hundred a week. So it, it's grown. I went to the expo fair and saw Dana and his friend Dave, along with Melody and Richard, hanging out at their booth making platinum palladium prints for people. And I was just like enthralled. I was like, what are you doing? And then the Saturday of the conference, there were no more lectures that I wanted to go to. So I ended up just going back to the booth really early. Like as soon as they opened, I was like, Dana, you guys are super busy with orders from yesterday. Can I help? I was hoping to see them at the 2015 conference and they weren't there. I called Dana and I was like, Dana, I need a job or an internship or something for the summer. I just, I worked with Richard for a couple weeks. I worked with Melody here, just got to do workshops with Dave and Dana and just kind of integrated myself into the family a little bit. When I uh, married into the family, uh, one of the first things that Melody talked about was her dream of continuing on the family business, passing it down to uh, her kids and grandkids. And so it was sort of an understood thing that at some point I would join Bostick and Sullivan. Richard has been very successful at adapting formulas for uh, you know, current chemistry and availability. He's been very successful at keeping his finger on the pulse of the photographic community. My job at Bostick and Sullivan is to run the research lab. We have the only full-time research lab that I know about in early photographic processes. You'd think there'd be lots and lots of material on how to make it, but this was a problematic area to publish because it was trade secret. Now that digital has gotten so good and printers are so good, we can make an inkjet negative that rivals those of in-camera negatives, large format. It, it's opened the world of alternative photography to anybody who owns a cell phone. Anybody can take pictures now and end up with a platinum print, a cyanotype, even a digital tintype. The mission of Bostick and Sullivan has always been to uh, preserve and educate uh, about the historic processes so that they don't fade into oblivion and are here for this generation, the next generation, and hopefully in a hundred years people will still be practicing how to make a handmade print.